rooftop. But you said you ain't got your gear. I mean, I don't understand what, what the, the gear. Your gear is fine, G. <laughs> Your gear, you know what I'm saying? You sharper than the mosquitoes, Peter. Hold on, you gotta get the, you sure you get the Nike. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's like the joint, that's like the joint with, uh, when you was in the club that one time, and you had the Stacey Adam on with the sock. The sock. And you had to have a shoe up like that. You gotta have the shoe up. <laughs> in the vis visibility zone. Cause if it ain't in the visibility zone, then. You know, it's no point in wearing them. Yeah, right? if they go, if he, because he got to compliment, the shoe got to compliment the slack and the sock. Right. The so sock. once you throw the, when you said, man, you had your shit up like this. Yeah, right. You know what I mean? Just for the visual. You got to do it with the, the quick cock and the slow overroll. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then it's crawling. Uh, you got to have the position where... You're angled from the table, so your leg is directly near the table. So your leg got to be in the, like, your leg got, if people are walking by, right. it has to be. Where it's not going to block the the pathway. Right. But it's where it's in the visible zone. So it's going it's going to be all, they're going to turn their head and look and see. Right. And they were like, oh, God damn, we got an ill shoe on. <laughs> right. <laughs> And, and the girls that are with their men, they compliment, they they contemplate whether they need to stop and say something to you, yeah, or keep going with the bra. See, it's in their head; they're confused now, right? Because he got he probably got a regular sneak on or something, or right? The he ain't really he on. ain't really just he ain't really. Yeah. I mean, he got dressed, but he didn't get dressed dressed. No, you know. So when they, <laughs> so but let me ask you this: So does the shoe once they get a glance at the shoe? Then the next glance is at you. It has to be right. It depends because if they notice, I think they go they they would notice the shoe first, and then look okay, and then look at the shoe, and then the person that's wearing the shoe. Right. Okay. Okay. I just wanted to make sure of that because, and then they start wondering, like, what does he do? What what is he? what type of brother? Is yeah. He? Like, you is know, he, he just? Is he? Is he? He's, he's obviously man. a distinguished gentleman. Right. He's definitely you know me top tier. Distinguished as far as your distinguished your distinguished level, right? You're up there, right. but now it's like, what does he do? Is he a businessman? I mean, no disrespect, but is he a pimp? Right? Is he a player? Is he a pastor? What is he? Or does he just like the night the dress nice? Right? You know what I'm saying? Like it's a lot of I feel that because it, it just it opens up a you know even though you didn't say anything verbally. It's a connection that you made, not a nonverbal connection, just by the way the Stacey Adams is. Right. Is, <laughs> the Stacey Adams is on display. You know? Yeah, yeah. You know, this is my Uncle Ron, man. <laughs> this is my Uncle Ron, man. This is my mom's brother, man. So, you know, I, I learned a lot of game from this, this guy, man. He's my favorite uncle. And uh, he always keep a nigga on his toes, man, making sure you're doing the right thing in life. Or at least attempting to do the right thing. He called me a barnyard pimp for years. You know what I mean? He, I've been the barnyarder. You know what I mean? But he's seen the maturation. He's seen the growth. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't even be out here, to be honest with you guys, in Arizona and living the life that I'm living now. So I owe a lot to this dude, man, whether he knows it or not. So, you know, this ain't no interview. This is just a preliminary hearing. You know what I mean? Little couple outtakes to B-rolls. We call them B-rolls. You right. know, but we going to definitely, uh, I'm looking forward to the interview with you, man. When we, uh, when you go get the chip, the 20 year chip, you know what I'm saying? We going to get into that. Right. And then just get a, get a backdrop on your story. You know, the, the, the upbringing, you know what I mean? From the time that you was doing well, the times you may have, you know, fallen down a little bit and the times where you're at now. Falling down a little bit, man. I hit, hit, hit it hard. Yeah, man. A lot of times. Yeah, bro. You know, but I'm blessed to be here, man. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Because you got two more new additions, two little cousins to the family, you know. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, man, it's going to be dope. I'm looking forward to the interview um, just to get, because I think your story is definitely inspirational to anybody that 
feels like they have an addiction or and we all have you know we all have our own little vices and things like that where we we went through things and you know may have did certain things you know what i'm saying as far as drug use or whatever it may be to kind of escape and just to see you know the person that you are now opposed to the person that you was is, is definitely an inspiration and i think your story needs to be need to be told because if we can change one life man that's that's what it's about bro you know what i'm saying if, if we can change get somebody else to think a little bit different get somebody you know get 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 kids to understand or teenagers even if you're grown up just to understand that you know this ain't the end of the day it ain't the end of the road and there's always room for growth and room for maturation and understanding and getting better. Hope yeah. is alive, man. You know, you gotta just believe in that. Yes, sir. Believe in the change, believe in yourself, and you, with a little hard work. And P, little what's faith. up, P? What's the deal, baby? This is my Uncle Ron right here, man. That's P right there, Uncle. Nice meeting you, man. Man, I like that hat right there. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's Young Pistol, man. That's one of the artists. I'm gonna get his interview. You want you want to do that joint today later or a little bit? Uh, I was about it. Oh. oh man, see, come on, man. Yeah, then I was on it. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah. I'm rolling right now, so everything the camera, everything you say in the camera can hear you, gang. Yeah, yeah, okay, man. Probably later on today. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> word, word. Later on today, later on today. Mm-hmm. Before the sunset. Right. That's what's up. Still Earlski. You know, but yeah, we're gonna have to definitely uh get that popping, man. You know what I'm saying? It's going what we're gonna call it is Atkins Atkins Chronicles Volume One. Peace What's up? Have a blessed day, man. Yup, we're gonna call it Atkins Chronicles Volume One, and we're just gonna get different stories. I want to get different stories from all my aunts, my cousins, um, you know. And, and, and friend, family, friends, and stuff like that, just to get a perspective. It's, I think it needs to be done, man. You know what I mean? It needs to be done because we actually we've been through a lot, seen a lot, and uh, we still here, man. Through the through the Most High, man. We still here, and we still, you know, we all sane. You know, we we haven't experienced any any tragedy like that, which is good. You know, certain things that's gonna happen, but I mean, just drastic tragedies and things like that. And I feel like as a family, we blessed. It's just up to us to get it together, you know. And it's gonna start with this, man. You know what I mean? I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get my mom. I'm gonna get my uncle. I'm gonna get my aunts just to give their perspective on, you know, just to see the difference of upbringings because they all got different stories. You know, everybody got a different story, man. You know, and that's everybody's what story is different, but in most ways they're the same. You know, I mean, I'm not not new to what's going on in the world, you know. There were some bad choices I made in my life that I was blessed to survive through that not everybody can sit there and say, you know what I mean? Especially when it came to alcohol and drugs. You know? mm -hmm. I mean, but promises are written in there and they're there for a reason. You do the work you want to be, you know, clean and sober, then you can. Mm -hmm. You can be, you know. I mean, 20, 20 years, twenty one years, actually. Twenty one years. You've been, you've been. Yeah. That's that's love. How old are you now? Sixty three. Sixty three. Four. So you've been clean and sober since forty two. I've been clean and sober all but one day in this century. Okay, for those that don't don't know what a century is. This century, 2000, since this 21st century, I had one day I wasn't sober. That was January 2nd. I was sober on the 1st, but then I relapsed on the 2nd. And the 3rd was my new sobriety date, January 3rd, 2000. And I've been sober ever since. Congratulations on that, man. That's a motherfucking... So one day out of... Excuse my French, but one day out of... 21 years man you get all you get you get you you, you get it listen you can get a month out of 21 years he said one day i'm like damn one hold day up out of this century i haven't been sober man that was yeah. january 2nd 2000 
I remember, I remember the time, man, when, when I, when I, when I first thought, and I was thinking about this the other day. I was just like, damn, like, like I was thinking, like, yo, because it was a lot of things that went on, like around that time when I made the initial call to you. I don't know, it probably was like a ten year gap. You know what I mean? Uh, maybe longer than that, bro. You know, on um, what, 26, 18, 26? Yeah, like 10, 11 years. Because I graduated when I was 18. But all throughout high school, I didn't see you. And then it was just like, you know what I mean? Once I got out of high school, I moved out here when I was 26. So it's like from 18 to 26, that's another eight years. Four, so that's 12 years that, you know what I'm saying? We was out of contact. Except for like, you know, the occasion. Yeah, the, the event, yeah, yeah, the, the kickbacks and all the, yeah, that's what I mean, just like literally, <clears throat> um, like literally like, like as far as having a relationship with you, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. You know what I mean? As me being a young teenager, my teenage years, I didn't have a relationship with you like that, you know what I mean? And for me to, you know, fast moving forward, fast forward and to get to 26 years old and deciding like, damn, I want to change. I want to do this. I want to, you know, what I mean, explore my horizons and, and try to, you know, do better. I don't know what came over me, man. It was just like, man, call Uncle Ron. Y'all in Arizona, da 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 da. And 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 as soon as I called you, I remember these words. It was like, yo, it, it was like. Initially, it was like, ask, you know, get ninety nine dollars and get out here, and I got you. And I understood, I'm like, damn, all right, bet. So, but also you, you reiterated to me, like, that this ain't gonna be no vacation. If you coming out here to bullshit around and you coming out here to this, that, and the third, then this ain't the right place for you. You know what I mean? As far as me, cause you gave me a month, maybe I was in your crib like a month, month and a half. Yeah. And then, you know, I got the job. And we can get into that story, but this is just a backdrop, but I had to get an ID, and I ain't have proper ID to get an ID out here. It was just a lot of intangibles that had to fall into place in order for you know things to kind of work out, man. And I remember everything, bro. I remember the picking up from the airport, saying the package is here, man. The package is here, man. <laughs> You know what I mean? I don't know if he was on, I think he was on the phone with my mom. Yeah, I think he was on the phone with my mom and shit. The bus stop. Yeah, he was like, the package has arrived. I remember I was in my Lincoln. Yup. That's a fact, bro. And I remember you like, I don't know if he was talking to my mom or or just to me, but I think, yeah, you just let her know that I made it safely and everything. And from there, you know what I'm saying? It's just. You handle your business though, man. Still handling it, man, but. See, the thing is, if it wasn't for, you know, everybody need a launch pad. Everybody needs somebody to lean on at certain times. And if you weren't able to give me that, hello, hey, auntie, how you doing today, babe? This is my Uncle Ron. That's my fa- they, 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 they my other family, uh, um, on- yeah. But, um, yeah, so, I, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it just, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, like, as you get older, as you mature, as you, you have to understand everybody got a different path. Everybody got... You know, but if you wasn't able to open up your doors or be in a position, because you everybody wants to help, but everybody ain't in the position to help. You know what I'm saying? Like people, you know what I mean? And then on top of that, it's a lifestyle change. Like, bro, because I've had people come stay with me, my brothers, my, you know what I mean, my, my girls, family members and stuff like that. And it's just, it's a discomfort. It's an adjustment, you know? And everybody is not with that adjustment, man. But you held it down. You looked out for the cookout, and I've been out here ever since, man. Yeah. You know. And that type of shit needs to be broadcasted. It, it needs to be recognized. You know what I'm saying? It needs to be. It needs to be appreciated, and the ones that do open up other doors for you, you all you you have to acknowledge them and give them the love and respect and the appreciation that they deserve because. Jokers go out their way to try to help, you know, and do things for other people, man. And then it's either going to go right or it's going to go left. From the time you gave me that launch pad, I ain't never lived with you or stayed with you ever again. There was times where it got rough, like, yo, I might need da-da-da-da-da, but nah, nigga. 
You know what I'm saying? We ain't doing that, and I feel the same way right now. <laughs> you know what I mean? Nigga, okay, nah, ain't no, man, listen, man. We ain't doing that, but I got you, though, you know? Be your last call. Mm-hmm. Don't be my, I won't be your first one, man. Be your last one. You got to stand on your own, man. Word. Believe in God will get you through. That's big facts, man. I know, big man. Facts. But we just trying to give you your flowers while you still here, man. That's it. Hello. Right. What's up, OG? What you got that Jerry Rice on? No, Cruz from New York. Oh, oh, Victor Cruz? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, all right. I see you. But you know, at the end of the day, man, it's just like these stories, man, these these, these chronicles, man, they got to be out. They got to get put out there, man. It's inspirational, man. You got to, you can't forget, man. You can't forget. When you think that you're doing the best, remember where you were one time before. Just keep, keep grounded and stay grateful, you know what I mean? Because you find yourself complaining about shit that really don't mean nothing. And you got to ask yourself, what is you really doing? You know what I mean? Why are you doing this? Correct. Stay out of self and, and try to see it from another side and remember. In other words, remain humble. Right. Yeah. Because uh, don't complain about you got to eat a hamburger today. You're lucky because you got something to eat. Day, remember that day when you were thankful for the pack of noodles. Look, that them oodles and noodles, that top ramen. You were grateful for that one. When you was out there homeless, me, Mm -hmm. had to stand there and collect change at the gas station to get a jumbo jack when they were still a dollar and nine cents. Mm -hmm. Jumbo jack and water. Mm -hmm. That was my meal. Now that shit... Is that your is that your discretion? Lobster, shrimp, I mean steak. I mean what do you what you feel me? It's like, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of different things I could go through right now, but I ain't gonna go through it right now because then I start getting excited. That's cool. We're gonna say that. We're gonna say that for the interview. For the real interview. Yeah. This just this this is just we just conversing, man. I just you know, as I'm transitioning into, you know, learning new things and I always been a, a person that wants to get content. I got content from years ago, 10, 15 years ago, bro. And it's just like, I just want to get, I want to get the content that nobody else is getting. And I want to get, get it from the horse's mouth, from my family to even the people that I don't know that may have a similar story, but it's just to me, it's closer to home when I can talk to a relative that I that I look up to and I appreciate that give me good feedback on certain things that I need to hear. You know what I mean? Whether I'm fucking up, doing right, or I'm doing wrong. Mm-hmm. You know what it, I mean? It's all about the level of ascension, man. The transformation, transformation brought on by life experiences and age. You know, you got to move to the next. Phase and it's hard sometimes for people to accept that. Mm-hmm. They want to. They want to stay in that one. One realm. That one realm. That one motion, and and their behavior needs to change, and their thought needs to change mm-hmm. to the next level. Because you. You know, you have the way you think when you're in your teens. You have the way you think when you're in your 20s. There's a way that you live and behave when you're in your 30s. There's a certain way that you need to live and behave when you're in your 40s and 50s and so on. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's a part of the culture. And when people fight that, they run into difficulties and wondering why things aren't going the way they expect them to go. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because they're in the wrong time zone. And their brain is thinking on a, you you 36 years old, but you're thinking in a 22-year-old's mind frame. 
And you get and rejected on everything that you're doing. Right. You know what because I mean? Because your thought everything process. Everything that you're doing is. You throw it off. It's off. <laughs> right. Because you're in the wrong time zone. Righteousness. You know what I mean? And you need to. What's up, Juicy? Transform. How you doing today? Uh, you look like you got yourself. To, you look. You look. You got yourself together. No, I barely started. Oh. Uh, my hair. <laughs> Push up. To each his own. No distractions. No distractions. You know. Yeah. 